Hi everyone, so I'm back here with another topic uh, and this will be the shamanic healing. Uh, I feel to share about this topic because I hear it too many times that people are thinking that we as shamanic practitioners or shamans we're having these superpowers that we can help people. The truth is that we don't have any superpower. If I would call superpower superpower then that would be like that we care and love people um, and we practice it actually more than regular everyday uh, people would do it so even that can add to it uh, to our efficiency um, I would love to share with you a little story um, because I think many times like giving examples can um, uh, empower that uh, in people like that this really actually it's working so in my shamanic apprenticeship at the beginning I had this experience where I participated in a sweat lodge with my mentor and with other people with a group of people and there was a lady who had internal bleeding for years already and doctors couldn't do anything with her and she was very desperate and she really wanted to heal so all we did and my mentor was leading all this that we sat in the, um, myself and I think with two women, we sat in the hut, uh, in the lodge with her. And then other people were just standing outside of the lodge and just placing their hands and just really like uh, sharing their love and thinking of great health for her. A couple months later, this lady shared with us that the bleeding stopped and that she was uh, starting to really heal, which doctors were very surprised of it. And I share this with you because um, I really feel like uh, that these these healings can really happen and it's a proof of like true deep love of people and also when a community comes together and the power of community. Another two examples, which I love, uh, it's a re more rare case, but I love to work with uh, mother and daughter or son. And I had two examples of this. One was that uh, a woman um, uh, searched for my, um, uh, for my help because she, after, after birth, she gave birth, she couldn't connect with her uh, son, with her baby emotionally like she was very detached from him so i felt like this is the time when we just allow ourselves to be open so any picture can come to us and i just felt to create for her like a talisman like a like a, a little amulet and i just felt to really pour like love deep love into that and she was writing me after a couple of weeks and she said that she has a, like a very deep bonding and and she felt very happy about that this could happen. And again, it's nothing else but love. And another example happened with me in Germany where a very kind uh, woman to my heart uh, came by for um, a shamanic treatment uh, with her baby, with um her baby girl and the problem was that the baby girl like didn't yeah didn't poop for like nine days which is like extremely much and she was very upset that what is happening she couldn't uh, like realize what's really going on and we have to know that the mothers and the, the their babies are very connected energetically so when for example the mother is feeling not quite well then probably the baby will feel in the same way and in this moment i just felt to work simultaneously like um, the mother was laying on the table and i was holding the baby uh, in my arms and i was working kind of like on both of them energetically and because meantime uh, the baby started to be a little restless like i started to also sing and then i felt like they could go into a deeper peace and then the mother, like when arrived home, uh, she wrote me that uh, look like something magical again happened because uh, because uh, the little girl like pooped for two times until they arrived home. So these are just the little things can happen in uh, shamanic healing. 
And again, it's not a superpower, but it's really about care and love we can have towards people. And also, again, I could share with you and I share with you that you can do the same thing and probably you already did it, but you were not aware about it. For example, like just uh, imagine or like remember if you hugged anyone or anyone hugged you, you know, and, and you could really feel good or the other person could feel really good. Or when we had like a sick uh, plant or animal in our house and we were just touching it or having like really deep care about it and then all of a sudden just got very vital uh, that plant or that animal so these are just the little examples uh, for it i mean i hope like more and more people will will uh, start to get into this and not just like uh, focusing on helping others but helping first also uh, themselves because we can become um, like let's say good healers by living uh, being the living example and by uh, practicing it if you have any question related to this topic or you would love to share with me any experience related to it then just drop me a comment below and uh, let's not forget about that uh, now I just got back on this channel and very much would say thank you if you would like and uh, subscribe on my channel so I can keep doing this, uh, these videos and I promise that they will keep coming. Bye bye.